Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Well, the rumors have proved true. So Carlos Takam and Derek Chisora confirmed to fight on the undercard of the Dillian White and Joseph Parker fight on July 28th in London. And that's at the O2 Arena, of course. So this is a good fight. I will admit that I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. And it really does fatten out the undercard. And I'd mentioned in a previous video that it was looking a bit thin in terms of a competitive fights. So in Chisora and Takam, that will be a good dust-up. And I'd just note from those comments that I made, there were a reasonable number of people who were giving me flack saying that they thought it was a very good undercard. And I wasn't debating that there, was, there weren't good names on the card, but my point was around the quality of the fights. But this edition, it does help the card, and I'm not as bent out of shape about the undercard now that this has been added. And so what we've got now, if we look at that in its entirety, we've got White and Parker topping the bill, a very good fight. You've got Cal Brook facing some guy called Brandon Cook. Takam versus Chisora, obviously. Katie Taylor against her IBF mandatory Kimberly Connor. Uh, Connor Ben rematching Cedric Payanode and Joshua Boazzi against Ricky Summers. And there is apparently going to be one more fight added to the card. So there's a number of people speculating that Eddie Hearn, he will probably add Calify to the bill. But we shall see. But in terms of this to calm and Chisora dust up, initial thoughts are... I think that the 37-year-old to come, who's got a record of 35-4-1, he should go in the favourite to win this one against 34-year-old Derek Chisora, who sports a 28-8 and record. And in many respects, if we just have a look at those eight losses, it actually makes Chisora's record look worse than he really is as a fighter, because there is certainly a few of those losses that were actually wins. And the ones that he did lose, I mean, they were largely against world-level opposition. So it would be easy to label him as a journeyman, an out-and-out -out journeyman of sorts. But I think, actually, he's got more in the tank than that. I mean, perhaps high-level gatekeeper is maybe a fair assessment at this point in his career. But certainly on July 28th, he is going to be able to show us where he's actually at. And actually, the result of the fight could potentially hinge on which version of Derek Chisora shows up. Because remember, a highly motivated Chisora can be a real handful. And Dillian White found that out firsthand in December 2016, when the pair were busting each other up in a fight of the year candidate. And that version of Chisora would be a lot for Carlos to calm to handle. But I think Chisora would have to keep coming for the entire 12 rounds instead of uh, taking the odd round off. And that's actually really what hurt him for that result with White. And let's face it, if Chisora, if he wants to keep you know, getting these relatively lucrative paydays, he's going to have to either win or at least put on a really, really entertaining performance. And while Chisora has got a decent chin, he's got okay power, I actually think we're going to see Carlos to calm more willing to engage with him in close quarters than he was with his last opponent, who, of course, was Anthony Joshua, where Takam lost a 10th round stoppage, and that was back in October 2017. I could actually see Takam working in close quite a bit. But if we look at the style matchup, I mean, it does have the potential to potentially get a bit ugly, maybe get a bit messy, and perhaps the styles won't, won't be a complete fit, but... In some respects, it could also, you know, be a real dogfight. It could devolve into a war. It could be quite exciting at times. And if we look at it, to calm right now, he's 13th in the WBC, 6th in the IBF. So a win over Chisora, who's 10th in the WBC, could certainly help bump him up the ladder a bit. And obviously the same goes for Chisora. But at this point, you know, I haven't sort of given this too much thought. I am picking to calm to win, and I'm picking him to win by decision. I'm not sure he's going to get the knockout. How do you guys see this one playing out? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.